I hate to be the one to tell you, but according to our records, your Trump 100 club offer has been rescinded. You've received multiple emails from Team Trump, including my father, inviting you to join this brand new prestigious club, and you've ignored every single one of them. Trump knows you've always been a strong supporter in the past, so he agreed to let me reactivate your offer for one more day. You now have until 11.59 p.m. tonight to accept your offer to join the Trump 100 Club. After that, you may not get another chance. <laughs> there, are, there are literally hundreds of these. Absolutely insane. Nigerian Prince President, man. Jesus fucking Christ. Hello, I am President Trump. I am the President of the United States, but I need to get to D.C. for them to hear my, my legitimacy to the presidency. If you could give me your credit card details, I need only $100. I have access to vast riches. I will pay you back when I become President. I've said this before, and I just think it bears repeating, that a lot of this really is descriptive. Um, if Joe Biden really did steal the election, a lot of their behavior is really morally justifiable. Like, if they, if, if what they believe was true, that Joe Biden actually had, like, done some sneaky bullshit to steal the election, that, like, their outrage and reaction is, like, fully 100% justifiable. That's why I think it's important to recognize this not as, like, an emotional pathology on the part of the people there, but rather a deliberate outcome of misinformation peddled by people at the top, you know? Like, the, it's, it's, it's about systems. The January 6th was an inevitable consequence of some systemic forces. It's not just that the people there are crazy. Now, don't get me wrong. The people there are absolutely crazy and wrong, you know? Um, the craziest people are the ones most likely to be swayed to stochastic terrorism as a product of the misinformation. But... Um, you know, it, it's still a fairly inevitable outcome, which is why it's so important to think of this as a crime done by the Republican Party, not just a crime done by the Jan 6 rioters. I honest to God, I don't really care if the Jan 6 rioters go to jail or not. Ser I like, I don't, I don't really care. Like, I guess a lot of them deserve to, but it's not like anywhere near the top of my priority. You know, for me, it's the officials responsible for pushing this, you know, um, that's what I care about first and foremost, because as long as they're there, you know, it's like you treat the you treat the, the cause, not the symptoms. The chair requests those in the hearing room remain seated until the Capitol Police have escorted members from the room. Without objection, the committee stands adjourned. Oh, okay. Well, there you are. Um, yeah, I know that a lot of the stuff um, from today's hearing wasn't as interesting as last time because last time they opened with the glitz and the glamour, but... Keep in mind, a lot of that is also because they have to, they have to successfully establish the fact that the election wasn't stolen, and that requires going over the extent of the dishonesty on the part of Trump and his campaign officials. Um, so you know, uh, it's it's going to loop back around. Like you you start with the Jan Six hook, and then it's like, okay, well, what were they mad about? You go over how they were lied to, and then you know. Um, yeah, there's going to be, there's still plenty to go over. It really makes me wonder, like, I, I know this is probably asking for too much, but if there, if there's any audio or like any testimony from anyone saying that at any point Donald Trump says that he wishes the Jan 6 stuff had gone farther, that could be such, that could be such a bombshell, you know? Like, if anyone's willing to testify that Trump made an offhand comment, like, you know, if only they made it to like the, you know, the, the, like the, 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 the house chamber or something, or if only they got Pelosi or Pence or whatever, if they, if they're able to like something like that, dude, holy shit. Cause we know he's thinking that, but I, I want to know if anyone would be willing to testify. Fuck. They kind of did. Yeah. But like something a little more explicit, you know, something a little more, more direct. What do you think is a realistic outcome based on how it looks so far? Look, I, I can't, I can't predict. He did say Mike Pence deserved it. Yeah. I, I, I can't predict what the, what the, uh, the DOJ is going to do. I'm not, you know, I can't. Why it's not like anything's going to happen to him. I really wish that lefties would like calm down with the pessimism. It's not about whether or not anything happens. This testimony is good. It's good to have this on record, even if nothing happens. As a, don't get me wrong. I want stuff to happen as a product of it, but we should still be supportive. You know, 
This is like another wedge moment. Lefties should be looking at stuff like this and they should be thinking, like, how can we use this to sell the average American, you know, on how insane and how dangerous fascism is? Anti-fascist advocacy is, is like the number one most important thing lefties should be doing, in my humble opinion. And using stuff like this as like a platform, like, because what we need to be doing is taking the extra step, you know, this is probably going to mostly come down on Trump, but the entire Republican Party, or at least almost the whole Republican Party, was complicit at some level or another in pushing the election lie bullshit, uh, in defending Donald Trump. Uh, and in that sense, you know, they're opportunists. They're just going to wait for the next more successful coup attempt. We need to translate this. It's not just Trump that's dangerous. The entire institution of the Republican Party is fundamentally anti-democratic, and every chance they get at power is a chance that they don't get, they don't have to leave again, you know, they don't, yeah. The committee did say the Justice Department should indict Trump and that there is sufficient evidence. I agree, but they can indict more than Trump. At the very least, they could get like Gassar and MTG and Boebert and stuff. Um, but yeah, they did say this the other day. The January 6th committee says um, they have enough evidence for the, the, uh, the DOJ to pursue a criminal indictment against Donald Trump. If this happens, though, this is going to be the, um, this is going to be the trial of the century. If this does happen, and I hope to God that it happens, if this happens, this would be the trial of the century. This would be one of this would be one of the most watched, one of the most discussed legal cases in all of human history. Holy shit, the content! I would get so many views. Whoo! That's what I'm talking about. What court would hear the criminal indictment? Would it be the Supreme Court? I mean, it would be one of the federal circuit courts, right? Stuff doesn't go to the Supreme Court unless it's brought to the Supreme Court via appeal. I... Th actually, wait. Can something start? Can some... Something can't start at the Supreme Court, right? It has to make it there through appeal. So it would go through, yeah, like the D.C. Circuit Court. You were right? Okay, okay, just, ma just making sure, yeah. Uh, oh, yeah, a state can sue another state in the court. That's true, that's true, yeah. Um, there, there are some types of things that the Supreme Court will do um on its own but otherwise it gets there through appeal and that's good because we really really do not want a 6-3 scotus ruling on uh on uh on on anything trump has done what if that trial results in another jan 6 protest well that would kind of sell the case don't you think and that, that would that would kind of be kind of like a punctuation you know a, a period at the end of the sentence yeah well okay Wacky stuff.